Hello everyone, it's Mrs Hughes here, just to remind you how to access AR from home and also books from home. Research shows that reading for pleasure helps you to succeed in all your subjects, but perhaps more importantly, reading for pleasure makes you happier, so it's really good for your mental health. This video is aimed primarily at year 7 and 8, showing them how to access AR, but also for Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5 as well to show you how you can access books from home. So our expectations are that you read for 20 minutes a day, that you complete AR quizzes, that you read within your range and you reach your points target by the end of the summer term. So I'm going to show you how that works. Your points target and the number of books that you read, each of those books has points that you can add up to reach your target. So a reminder to access AR, you can't just Google AR, you need to go to our dedicated website page. The address is there on screen now. Once you have logged on using your username and password, you go to Accelerated Reader and you can select your progress to check what your ZPD range is if you've forgotten what that is. So if you click on the progress button, it shows you what your range is. And here you can see this student's ZPD range is 5 to 12.9. You should be able to see your points target set once you log in after the 20th of April. So this student has got a points target of 28.7. All the books that this student reads need to add up to 28.7 by the end of term. So this is how it works live. You go to Accelerated Reader, you go to Progress, and here you can see that this is the number of books that they've read, their general ATOS level. You shouldn't have to choose a marking period of summer. But their target is to read 28.7 books that add up to 28.7 points. So remember, you can check also books that you have already quizzed on. It's a waste of time really to reread a book that you've already quizzed on because you won't be able to do that quiz again. So to check, you go to bookshelf and the bookshelf will show you all of the books you've quizzed on so you don't repeat a quiz. So if we go to Accelerated Reader, show you how this works. It will show me all of the books that this student has read. So you, you will see all the books that you read and also what you have got in terms of quiz passes. So say you've got a book at home and you're not quite sure if it's got a quiz on it, you need to go to AR Book Finder. AR Book Finder will tell you whether or not the book has a quiz and also the number of points. So if I go to this, click on student, and I'm gonna put in a book that I've read recently, The Hate You Give. And I'm gonna to check to see if that has a quiz on it. So if I click on search, you can see that this book does have a quiz on it. I can see that the book level is 3.9 and it's got 13 points. So that would add up to reaching my target. Now it could be that you're looking for books, suitable books, and you can do that using advanced search on BookFind. So you choose your interest level, you can put in your ZPD range, and it gives you results of all the books that are available to you. You might want to refine the search because sometimes it gives you loads of books um, over lots of pages, so you might want to refine that search by choosing a particular topic. So I'm going to show you how that works now live. I go to advanced search and choose the interest level. So the interest level I'm going to choose is middle years, ages 12 plus, and put in ZPD range. So here I'm putting in 5.2 through to 7.5. Now remember, everyone's got their individual ZPD range. You can choose topics that you're interested in. Earlier on I chose award-winning books, but now I'm going to choose humour and funny. And if I click on search, it will come up with 13 books there now. Could be that I can order those books online if that's possible, or it could be that I use um, Leeds Libraries to see if those books are available on Leeds Libraries. So here I'm gonna have a look through. So the Leeds Libraries access, you go to leeds.gov.uk libraries and 
you can access loads of ebooks um, and e audio as well as e magazines. So if I go on ebooks and go on my account, if you have a library card, then you can put in your library card and your password. If you're not a member, you can actually sign up online. So you get online registration, which is brilliant because that means that you've got access to all of the ebooks and e audio books and magazines and comics that. Leeds Library have. Myon is also a reading function that you can use, a reading site that you can use. It's got lots of books. So you use the search filter, you select your Atos level, which is basically your book level in your ZPD. And you can click on the search icon and that allows you access to lots of books online. So here we have got information about books and I can click on the information and it gives me the ATOS level and also details about number of points. So this book level is 5.5 .5 and there are 0.5 points. You need to use AR Book Finder because sometimes there isn't a quiz. So let's see how that works. So I've gone on to Myon, start reading and if I click on the search function and I go to Atos. Now, Atos is the same as ZPD and book level. It's got lots of different names, but here on this website, they call it Atos. So if I go to book level four, say my um, book level is four, and I want to choose something that isn't too babyish, they so have chosen year seven for year level. And there's lots and lots and lots of books to choose from. Not all of these books have a quiz on them. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to check with AR Book Finder to see if it's got a quiz. Earlier on, I looked at that Jay-Z book that just scrolled past and didn't have a quiz. So I read it anyway, it's quite enjoyable, but I want to choose one that has a quiz so I can add up my points. So JK Rowling, there's a bit of a biography there. So if I check on information, I can see it's 4.7 and it's 0.5 points. So I'm going to book finder just to double check that it has a quiz on it. And I'm just going to write J.K. Rowling on there and search and all the Harry Potter series come up. But further on down from there, you can see that there are some biographies and that's the one that is on my own. So I can have a look at that and start reading the book. The book actually is read to you. So it's highlighted. You could follow it along Chapter and one. read along Harry with, with it the and then do your quiz. Some people were even crying. Camera lights flash. VL eBooks is also a place that you can access to get access to loads and loads of books. So you go onto vlebooks.com and you log on using your school email address. It's got all the information about the books there as well. So you can check the quiz level and you can check the number of points. So let's see how that works live. You go to Office 365 to log on. And you, remember, you're logging on using your email address and password that you use at school. AR book level, you can search for there. So I've chosen five. These are all the books that are five to 5.9. And you can see there's lots of them there. I'm going to have a look at five things they never told me. So if you click on it, it shows you that this is book level 5.4 and the quiz points are nine. Remember, you've got a target to reach by the end of the summer. So I can take that book out for seven days and I know it's got a quiz on it. Audible also has free access, but you need to use the link there, stories.audible.com, start listen. And that will give you access to lots of different books for free that are read to you. So I'm gonna ch um, check on literary classics and there's lots of them there. If I go to Wuthering Heights, that's a very long read, Wuthering Heights. You will see later on that it says the length is 11 hours and 38 minutes, and it's um, this think audio the points is number is 23 there. You can listen audio. to that, audio that speaks to over time you, wherever you are. if you want to listen to a classic. When you go to AR to quiz on it, you need to select that I was read to. Um, selection because you didn't read it yourself, you, it was read to you. Another way that you can access books online is through Alexa if you have Alexa and they have every month different books that you can access for free. So here I'm looking at the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde and if I check on 
book finder to see if there is a quiz and what level it is. I can see here once I've put it in and press search that it has got a book level of 7.7 .7 and it is worth 13 points. So Picture of Dorian Gray, you can also read along with it so you can read it online. This book is out of copy right which means that you can access lots of classic books online i usually just put the name of the book and pdf and then there are options there for you to choose from another way to read online is through ar you can do quick reads for articles and you can search articles and quiz on them they don't um, link to your points for your summer term target but it's a good way of doing a quick read and we can award you once you have done those through class charts. So here I'm having a look at some articles and if I go to Go Ahead, Wise Guy Sarcasm, Ups Your Creativity, they're usually quite short. They're quite high in terms of book level, but they are quite short reads. So that's um, a challenge for some of you if you've got ZPD that is perhaps lower than this one which is worth 9.7 but it's only a short read you can kind of challenge yourself with those ones quizzes are quite quick there's only one question on that one so expectations that you read for 20 minutes a day that you complete your quizzes once you've finished a book you read within your zpd range and you reach those points targets by the end of the summer term